there have been times I've been in my pajamas, going out of my house in my car, and I've gotten papped, and I've said, please, today, don't put it out, guys, because I've got these so pimple patches on my face in my pajamas, thinking, today, I won't get patched, it's fine. Gone, they've taken the picture. I've said, guys, please, and then sweetly, they've not, you know, mm -hmm. put it out, because I've looked like a mess. I find so, so many people hiding it, and that's fine. That's their personal choice, but the way I live my life is I'm honest, I'm true to myself. Why would I hide the most beautiful... Um, and hopefully permanent thing in my life. It's been quite difficult for me to adjust to that because I've recognized quite early on in my career that um, people haven't taken very kindly to us having our own perspective. Um, that does happen more with women for some reason and I know this and I can speak about this because I have young female friends in the industry so I'm fully aware of how the male perspective sometimes is taken more seriously than the female. Uh, then, of course, like I said, there's the youth angle. So there have been a few instances, actually, um, uh, with certain people where I have spoken about how I felt, and it's it's not necessarily been taken very kindly. It's always been my own choice. I Even in school and in college, I, I never really went out very much. I've always been very, very introverted. I'm much, much better at doing all of that now. Uh, even when I first started acting, I was really overwhelmed by the amount because it's a very social job. Yeah. It's it's a very social industry. Um, everybody sort of knows everybody. So, you know, if, if you're new, it can be very overwhelming. I do enjoy dressing up. I do enjoy style. I do in, enjoy uh, looking a certain way. It's just me. I'm not trying to be anyone else. It's just who I am. Somewhere along the line, people have assumed or people sort of think that that is who I am all of the time. Mm -hmm. But I feel like then that's the whole idea of being an actor is that you can just sort of mold into becoming anyone or anything. Hello everyone, I'm Rudrani and welcome to Speak Easy. My guest today is adorable. She's someone who has always made sure the things that she does is original, is heard and she's very comfortable in her skin. I'm of course talking about the very pretty Tara Sitaria. Hello. Thank you Rudrani. But I mean, you know, I've, I've known you for a while so to say that but you've been able to really maintain this. What I say is that it might look very easy and you can say, oh, be who you are. But in yeah. this industry, you're always advised against it. You are someone who came in, um, you know, despite a lot of people thinking, oh, you know, you had the Disney show. You know, you really made it on your own here, yeah. technically. Yeah. Um, and, and all of that. So I want to know... How how has this been for you now? Uh, it's been so many years, but yeah. I see that you are still authentic and you're still very comfortable in your skin. Um, I feel like there's no other way to be. I think my mom and dad have always drilled it into uh, my twin sisters and my head since we were really young that the only way to really be is to be true to yourself and to be original and to be honest. And even if that, you know, pisses some people off, which it can from time to time, um, just be you because uh, otherwise it just gets... It gets too hectic, it gets too too much if you're constantly trying to be someone else and be someone you're not. What's the point? There's no point. You said it can piss people off. How? I feel like sometimes, you know, because we're young, mm. sometimes I think people don't take very kindly to a young person's perspective, mm -hmm. if that's different to theirs, you know? Um, and that has happened, honestly. To not you? not only to me, but to a lot of people I know in yeah. the industry as well. To um, young actors. But to to young actors. Also female actors, I feel, get that a lot. They do, for some reason. I really haven't figured out mm. why that's still happening. Um, it, it's happening less because a lot of people have been so vocal and that's so important. But um, yeah, it does happen a lot to, to young young people, young actors, young people, young professionals in any, yeah. in any job really. But uh, I hope that changes. What are the things that you, they say like you remember the no's more than the yeses? And I want to know what are the no's that you remember in your career? Um, and why actually? I think it, it comes down to sometimes when you have your own perspective and opinions mm. um, and you voice them because like for example in my home, uh, my sister and I have always been told that be completely honest and open with, with like my parents, for example, yeah. or my grandparents, for example. Yeah. We've always uh, had such an open communication with them that when perhaps Pia, my sister, or and I have gone into our different professions and when we've done the same thing, it's probably not been uh, as open outside. So mm. it's quite it's been quite difficult for me to adjust to that because I've recognized quite early on in my career that... Mm. Um, 
people haven't taken very kindly to us having our own perspective. Um, that does happen more with women for some mm -hmm. reason and I know this and I can speak about this because I have young female friends in yeah. the industry so yeah. I'm fully aware of how the male perspective sometimes is taken more seriously than the female. Uh, then of course like I said there's the youth angle. So there have been a few instances actually um, uh, with certain people where I have spoken about how I felt and it's it's not necessarily been taken very kindly but I do hope that over time and as the years go by that that they can maybe see that perspective better. Also, sometimes I think when they say no, it's taken for arrogance, which it is not, right? Which I think that is another problem that yeah. a lot of people face. Yeah, and then if, if you don't speak your mind, I feel like you're feeding to people's egos and 100%. that doesn't make any sense. Uh, we're all allowed to have our opinions and our feedback to things. So I think it's better to just be honest and speak your mind. Um, of course, I'm not saying be rude or be no, firm about it. There's a way to communicate it, yeah. but yeah, it's so important. But I love that you said that because it is, an, and, and that's why I started the entire interview like that. You know, it's been, a, you know, more than a couple of years now, Tara, yeah. and you know, you started with student. Yeah. And um, I think over the years, when I used to talk to you, you used to always say that, of course, I want uh, to do interesting roles. Of course, I want layers. And, yeah. But I also have to have that opportunity and that equal chance to sort of put myself out there. Absolutely. Tell me how things have changed from there. Tell me how because I feel you getting a purva is, is a big deal and in that Absolutely. direction. Absolutely. I think everything for some reason has always come down to perception. The way that mm. we are all perceived as young actors is very important. Um, I've sort of just been myself but there's so much to me that hasn't been uh, tapped, that hasn't been used, that hasn't been I, I think because of the perception of maybe from my first film um, and the way that I put myself out there because I do enjoy dressing up, I do enjoy style, I do in enjoy uh, looking a certain way. It's just me. I'm not trying to be anyone else. It's just who I am. Somewhere along the line, people have assumed or people sort of think that that is who I am all of the time. Mm. But I feel like then that's the whole idea of being an actor is that you can just sort of yeah. mold into becoming anyone or anything which is why I'm so excited about Apoorva because I've never done a film that explores this subject. It's, it's a survival story mm. of a girl. Um, it's the kind of role and the kind of film that is I definitely wasn't expecting to do. I've been dying to do for the longest time. So I'm so happy that it's happening at this stage. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot to the, to the girl's character. There's a lot to the film that people will not expect uh, certainly not expect me to do that's for sure which is why it's it's been that much more exciting to do um, yeah there's there's a lot happening in the film and I'm, I'm looking forward to something like a teaser or something coming out of it soon so that people can see that side but of course since we mentioned that uh, we mentioned Ananya all three of you are look at you all how do you look back look at that friendship and the bond in three of you it's I'm amazing. sure all of you are very proud of each other also absolutely. right Ananya and Tiger and everybody absolutely I think we've We've all done so much since then. That was honestly the most fun experience shooting a film. It felt like, and I keep saying this, it felt like one long holiday yeah. shooting that film. We shot in the most beautiful uh, parts of India. We shot away from here. Um, it was just so much fun. There was, there was not a day that went by that we didn't have a ball on set. So I really, really miss it. Um, yeah, it was a great experience and I, and I hope to do something like that again in the future. And I'm really, really proud of everything that um, everyone I've worked with is doing because we've all been through a lot yeah. uh, through COVID. We've all had ups and downs in our careers. It's not like everything's been smooth sailing. Oh, yeah. um, it's been a really tough time in the industry. And I'm, I'm really proud of how um, all of my co-actors and even people I haven't worked with of, of how we're dealing with it. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, when you, when you see so much and you're doing so much to suddenly just be, you know, overwhelmed with with stuff that's been happening it's it's not an easy place to be so and also another thing you know you're always told that if you're not seen much then people will lose that interest in you whether yeah. it's through movies or whether it's through content it's through uh, you yeah. know being spotted everywhere yeah but are you're not really spotted everywhere again and, yeah. and i think it's reflective of how you are sticking to your own opinions listen she has a lot of friends. <laughs> like you have a huge circle in the industry. Yeah, yeah. You know pretty much everyone. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It's 
it's my own it's always been my own choice i even in school and in college i i never really went out very much i've mm. always been very very introverted i'm much much better at doing all of that now uh, even when i first started acting i was really overwhelmed by the amount because it's a very social job yeah, yeah. it's it's a very social industry um everybody sort of knows everybody so you know if if you're new it can be very overwhelming uh, yeah. especially considering in school and in college i wasn't a social butterfly butterfly um so it it's is new for me for i me. used to go everywhere with my twin sister and sort of hide behind her because she's a lot more sociable than i am so i used to i used to be very overwhelmed then i still am overwhelmed i'm much better at it now but it's a personal choice i don't believe in anything being inorganic because people are very smart nowadays mm. rozrani they know in a second if something is Fake. not natural they know if someone has forced someone to be somewhere they know and i don't subscribe to that in my personal life or in my professional life so i don't want to be anyone i'm not and i think there's a lot to talk about film wise brand wise yeah. uh, you know in, in every aspect of life so i i like to do this sort of thing because it's a lot more intimate and personal than then go and do something that's Dispose. perhaps not so organic for me yeah. you know and and each to their own i, I think sure. it's so admirable when people can just go and be out there all the time it's admirable i wish i could do it but i i can't all the time but that if you were not uh, as popular as you are today what is one thing that you still miss being able to do because you said that i i wonder it sometimes because you know you also like that at some point you've liked that privacy you obviously oh yeah i love it absolutely pr- protect that privacy in your 100%. private life 100% um how how do you think what do you miss most about that mm you know i actually do everything that i used to do before the other day uh, my cousin from america was in so town how are you not getting papped what is this there are very thing? interesting methods that i will not share of course but i no i really enjoy it i really uh. enjoy it i'm not going to lie i think it's wonderful i've actually discovered my own sort of relationship with the paps which is yeah, great yeah of course they're wonderful um, but obviously there are i mean there have been times i've been in my pajamas going out of my house in my car and i've gotten papped and i've said please today don't put it out guys because i've got these so pimple patches on my face oh, yeah. in my pajamas thinking today i won't get patched fine gone they've taken the picture i said guys please and sweetly they've not you know mm. put it out mm. because i've looked like a mess and so i have that equation with them but the other day i was um, i don't think i miss anything because i'm still doing i still okay. do everything i want like i wanted pani puri the other day i went and i grabbed pani puri on the street i wanted to i hadn't been in a, a rickshaw in a which while which is your favorite pani now that you mentioned pani puri guys punjab sweet house in bandra has the best pani puri of life yeah I'm that's the saying, one it's the best okay because the pani is really good i'm just saying okay um and so i went in a rickshaw recently and i had the best time ever had pani puri anything i mean i haven't stopped doing anything that i i love going for walks um in bandra it's so yeah. beautiful the leafy lanes so i i'm still doing everything that i used to while well, people refuse to believe that but then she does work work out hard but she also enjoys her snacks and food oh i eat every time <laughs> you do all the time please check out her social media for proof just yeah, in case yeah 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 i eat and i cook everything Oh yeah of course but yeah. I mean you know like I always think like when I'm extremely tired after a shoot or whatever what I, and because you're staying alone right away from family I personally always miss that ghar ka dal chawal sometimes yeah. it's just yeah. comfort food yeah, right yeah like comfort food what is that comfort food for you is it also dal chawal which is so like so there's so there's a very simple um easy recipe it's it's a parsi dish okay uh, it's called ras chawal it's basically rassa mm-hmm. ras and rice chawal ah. and you can put meat in it i personally like it with chicken or mutton it's like a broth correct it's like a really hot warm comforting Ooh, bowl of broth and rice and it's really bland but it's something that uh, i've grown up eating so it's like the when i travel or i'm shooting abroad and i come home it's the first thing that i want so that's my favorite Please tell me are you making the berry berry pulao's and the and the biryanis for as so well? for Parsi New Year for Navroz we make um, like a really it's it's a bland pulao but it's got a lot of flavor even in that you know simplicity we, we can pass off as veg biryani na kabhi kabhi to so there's you can make a veg one separately and then you can make a one with meat also, meat also so there'll basically. be both there'll be both ha huh? but like like biryani yeah basically. yeah absolutely like a pulao biryani so and you make that well So my mom makes that much better than I do. I uh, makes I like spice. Everything ah. I make has to have a lot of spice. So I will make the accompaniments to the pulao. What will immediately sort of 
put your mood back into its place. Like it's difficult to be zap in and zap out. Yeah. But like if you're really feeling low and you're, you know, what on those days, what do you think really sort of gets you back to track? Um, honestly, spending time with myself. Yeah. I really, really enjoy it. And over the years, I've grown to enjoy it much more than I used to. I feel like when we're younger, we constantly need the validation or From support of people, so whether it's your sibling or your best friend or your parent. Uh, I do have a really good support system. I'm not going to lie. I have my twin sister. When she's in town, yeah. uh, she lives in London. But when she's in town, I often turn to her. I have my best friend. I have my parents who honestly have been the biggest best friends to me in my life. Can talk to them about everything. Uh, but more often than not, I think it's company that, um, or sometimes moments of solitude with yourself. So how do you describe Tara's me time? When you say self-love, no? everybody has their own process, yeah. right? Um, What's yours? I am an overthinker, so I when I'm alone, I should really not be alone with just my thoughts. So playing, uh, you know, a record that I really like, or some music that I really like, or um, I love watching behind the scenes moments from talk shows from the past and things like that. So just spending, distracting my mind from the overthinking is what I like to do when I'm by myself or I'm having a bad day or something. Oh, nice. It's simple. Yeah, you know, simple. It works nothing. for you. Absolutely. No and, fuss. And how do you take care of your mental health? Well, sometimes all we need is another pers uh, perspective from someone. Mm -hmm. So I really, and I need that from time yeah. to time because I'm so consumed in my own thoughts yeah. because I'm always overthinking that I need someone's opinion that I trust about the matter at hand. Um, Honestly, I always backtrack and I go back to basic values, belief systems that are in me that I have either taught myself or I've gotten from my mom and dad um, because that helps me rationalize when something unfair or unjust is happening in my life and that really bothers me because I'm a really, I've been raised to be a really fair person so that, that has always bothered me and bothered my equilibrium. So I often spend time with myself and rationalize a situation or I get someone else's perspective that usually helps. I also see that you found a balance in also having like a relationship and a career. It's also not easy to do that when you're a celebrity because of the constant attention. I feel like you've also done that very nicely. You know, you, you, uh, you keep it private but you enjoy it and I also know that you know, you would want a partner that will always be there cheering for you, secure and all of that, right? Yeah, um, I mean... And you've done that like a easy breeze. I think, uh, again, totally depends on everyone's personal sure. choice. My thing has always been, honestly, what's the one thing that all of us as human beings crave, want and need? What's yeah. the one universal thing that we all want? We can be as different as yeah. we are, but the one thing we want is that one person Love. that loves yeah. us back, right? Partner. So why hide the one most basic natural thing that quite frankly can bring us all together? I, feel, I find so, so many people hiding it and that's fine, that's their personal choice. But the way I live my life is I'm honest, I'm true to myself. Why would I hide the most beautiful um, and hopefully permanent thing in my life, yeah. right? So um, I've always been very honest about it, nothing to hide there. Um, while also being, uh, like you said, a relatively you know, private person. Um, so I've enjoyed that and, and I'll always be like that. It's I think it's beautiful. I, probably why you don't care so much, right? And it also doesn't bother you, you're not why worried about... You care also you're not constantly checking uh, yeah. comments on social media as well, from what I know you about know, you. Uh, touch wood, I have uh, recently read, started reading a few comments and I feel really, so you're right, earlier I never used yeah, to, to be honest with you, I never used to. Recently I did and I feel really kind of really happy and proud of the fact that I receive a lot of Love. a majority of it is positive and a majority yeah. of it seems to people seem to have understood where I come from and and the vibe that I share and uh, they connect with it so I'm really happy about that but you know there's also a lot of support because of the fact that you're someone who made it here from the outside yeah. right yeah. you I see a lot of people always mentioning that that you know we're we're wishing the best for you and yeah. I feel like they I have that, that hope from that. Isn't yeah. it beautiful to it's see amazing. that? It's amazing, it's so nice and calming, you know, especially on difficult days, it's lovely to read. 100% and yeah. I think that keeps you going as absolutely, well, right? Knowing absolutely. you have a thing. Alright, the fun questions part. Okay. You're good at this, there's nothing very really scary about okay, this, don't okay, worry. Okay, okay, okay. I've, you know me, will I give okay. you stress? No, actually you don't. Don't worry about okay. that. Okay, fun questions okay. Tara, are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. What's the weirdest nickname that Tara's ever been called and why? Weird, they're actually all cute. Okay, Tar, funny. 
funny nicknames. Tar, tar, tarbu, tarbear, T. A lot of people call me T, T, S. Um, <laughs> weirdest now. There are some offensive names, but I cannot take them <laughs> on this show. <laughs> really? Yeah. But are they? Are, if they are not funny, they're not worth it. They're not funny. They're just offensive. <laughs> I can't. I can't say them. Okay. Is it evil friends giving you? Friends can be evil sometimes. Mm. Mm. So mm. it's the evil friends one. Mm. We'll skip. Mm. Okay. Tell me, um, of course, what's the funniest DMs that you've received? There are some really funny DMs that I receive. Uh, <laughs> some of the things that they, uh, you know, some of these people that yeah. they message me, mm -hmm. uh, very funny requests. Uh, <laughs> Again, I don't know if I should share them on this you can. show, but um, well, a lot of them are sweet also. A lot of them do these lovely portraits and they send me the pictures or they send me a photo that we've taken maybe six or seven years ago mm. and a photo that they've taken recently with me and they make cute collages and stuff. Um, the funniest one now, I don't know. Anything. Tell me the ones that you really laughed. There are some silly. really inappropriate ones, guys. Those like, are the funny ones. What are the... Nothing what are the, the like, very funny places they want me to sign their chests and sign my this and sign my... Now, let's just <laughs> leave it at that. Okay, inappropriate places to sign. Hmm. Very... We don't know what to say to I that. I don't know where they're getting these thoughts from, but anyway. On that note, a misconception about you that people had harboured for so many years and mm. now you feel like obviously that's not true and you know. While I love being, uh, you know, this, this perception of being glamorous and being uh, poised and all of that, sure, some of it's true. Um, anybody that actually knows me closely knows that I'm a complete goofball mm. and that I'm all about food, conversation, being real. Um, the, the main reason actually that I was so ex excited to do Apurva is because I'm none of these things in mm. the film. And I'm so excited for it to come out because it, it's, uh, uh, me as an artist is actually me and Apurva. Mm. And that's the first time that that's going to really be, be out there and be shown. So I'm excited for that. I think this has started when with the Coffee Current show because you're all like, yeah. oh, she's so perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. But I think now people with your, I think social media has helped, right? Because yeah. You, you sort of, I see. I'm also posting a lot more than I used to because I, I want people to like see me who, for who I really am. Whether that's me eating like a total mad person, um, always hungry, always talking about funny things. I think people just don't know that side, which hopefully they'll see soon. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. an actor, a female actor's life that you'd love to live in, why? From the industry. Female actor's life, I mean, I don't really know. Or actually a male actor, so anybody mm -hmm. whose life you see like, you know, it'll be interesting if for a day, like in hypothetical situation, you'd be like, it'll be interesting to live that life for a day. Oh gosh. Who that Tricky be? question, tricky Fun question. Fun one though. I can say, I can think of only one actress, but she's, uh, she's a Hollywood actress and she was very famous many, many years ago. She still is very famous, mm -hmm. but um, Elizabeth Taylor, she has the most, Ooh. had the most fantastic life. Uh, Look at very, that. Very, very exciting. Had the most beautiful jewelry collection in the world. Of course. And lived in the most fabulous homes, was a great hostess. I, I really like, I really like how she lived her life. She was pretty perfect though. She really was. <laughs> she, was. she was. She was. I'm so interesting you went for that. Okay. <laughs> A co-actor of yours that you had most fun with working? Most fun? Gosh, we all had so much fun. Uh, but somebody that you really like vibe do it. I know Arjun and you had a lot of fun, but there must be another. Oh, we had too much fun. Uh, he's just the best. Arjun for sure and Tiger. Tiger and Arjun, it's, it's always a ball with them. Yeah, also like you're very like bros with them, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we just, we get along <laughs> too well. It's lovely. Okay, perfect. An actor that you'd like to really work with from the different other industries that we have from Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada. Mm. Let's put it in the universe. So many. Um, you know, I'd actually love to do a film with Rashmika. I think she's absolutely fabulous. She's so sweet. Yeah. Um, and she's so loved. So, yeah. yeah. That'd be wonderful to yeah, see. Yeah, why not? Are there any male actors that you really hope is in a wish list or you really hope that you get to work so with? So many. I, um, I'd love to work with Karthik. I'd love to work with um, Aditya Rai Kapoor. I'd love to work with Varun. So many. That'll be nice. It'll, it'll be nice. <laughs> Adi's, Adi's definitely internet's favourite boy right now with everybody sort of making those reels. Good, how you, nice. I think they'll make a great on-screen pair. So putting it in the universe. Very good. Very, Very good. good. Right? <laughs> what is one genre that you really want to experiment with? 
you know, I'm actually really just dying to do a, a lovely love story. Mm. I don't think I've ever done a like a happy love story. <laughs> Yeah, you I don't like, like, like a very thrillers and intense, scary, intense yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm excited to do a rom com, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like saying. a sweet one. Like just a fun one, you know, that you can watch over and over again. I think the closest rom com is your debut film. Yeah, all <laughs> oh, the other ones are like thrillers and all sad films and. Like oh, intense, and Sarah's dying. Yeah, yeah. We can't let you die anymore. Someone Tara. is dying. Yeah, someone is dying. Yeah, yeah. We, and we won't let you also die. In the Please, film. no, I'm done with that. No. <laughs> She's like, I'm done with dying. Yeah. In the films. <laughs> but that's the thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One thing, an audition of yours that was really funny that you remember. You know, my favorite audition so far has been the one that I did for uh, Disney's Aladdin because I got to pretend that I was on a magic carpet <laughs> singing a whole new world with Aladdin next to me. It was so much fun. It was years ago. It was before Student of the Year. Yeah. My favorite audition. Oh, so fun that yeah, was. Amazing. Wonderful. Is one advice that you would give to young actors coming in the industry? That because you've been through it. Mm, gosh, I don't know if I can give advice. You but know, a yeah, You're learning. Anything that I have learned, and I think we all have in our own distinct journeys, is that uh, stay true to yourself, man. Don't let other people ever make you feel like you don't know, because only you know um, with your gut and intuition about your own journey. So stay true to that. Don't mm. feel pressurized. There's uh, plenty of room. There are no boxes to fit you in anymore. So mm. just be excited for your journey. Have your own unique experience and don't follow what other people are doing. Thank you so much, Tara. Thank you. Richard. It's absolutely lovely chatting with you always. You and you. I'm always cheering for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.